you need tonight A little something to whet your appetite And it's gonna make you feel alright Sweet gravy and Carmen Kirk Check them out as they go to work c c congratulations on your new podcast Now open up a can of whoop ass And blast, blast, blast And I hope you like this show. Wow. Yeah. Carmen, it's almost like Angelo's right there with us whenever we hear him. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like he's right, right next to us. Isn't that a nice? Yeah, you like Angelo more. <laughs> sure. Pretty good. <laughs> I did laundry today mm-hmm. and uh, I got all the way in there and then I empty out the bag mm-hmm. you know and typically what I'll do is at the bottom of the bag I'll put a soap yeah uh, and then whenever I empty the bag it'll go into the machine and then the soap will be on the top mm-hmm. I'm like okay there's the soap well I didn't see any soap in the bag after I dumped out the thing It might have been but you didn't remember and putting I it I said you know what I'm not going back For the soap Oh my god <laughs> what you mean <laughs> I said I'll give it a little Gander and make sure that there's If there's soap in here or not But if there's no soap these clothes are gonna Get washed without soap Why uh, You know, you got the whole day <laughs> You're not doing it You can literally go back and just grab the soap It takes five um, minutes I know but then you gotta go back See look this is the thing uh, you can't don't we, be washing my clothes with no soap uh, <laughs> we have to go to the laundry mat right so you gotta walk to the place you gotta put it in the washer then you gotta walk back and then you gotta go back to the place switch out the clothes and then you gotta come back and then you gotta go back to the place pick up the clothes and then you gotta come back if i were to do it the way that you're telling me to do it now that would have been two extra trips it would have been two an extra more walkthroughs yeah uh, there in the back right right okay but you're acting like it's a far walk <laughs> <laughs> it's right there uh, yeah and i was like oh that was so because i was like these clothes are gonna get washed and then i, I saw it in there but you were contemplating not washing the clothes with, with soap. so are they washed if it's no soap yeah they've been washed they went through the wash yeah but don't wash and until soap isn't soap part of the word wash no I think it is. You can wash with soap. Well, you'll be rinsing then, technically, right? If it ain't no soap. Well, rinse is a part of the wash. I'm just saying, I don't (laughs) think that it's washing if it ain't soap involved. Here's the the way that I see it, right? You put the You can't wash dishes with water and no soap. (laughs) Well, that's that's different. Okay. You know, there's there's like uh, bacterias and stuff. You can't wash your ass with no soap. <laughs> People do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So be assured, you know, there's those are the clean clothes that I just folded today. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you didn't just go ahead and wash it without no, no I was soap. going to. That's what it is. You put it in there and then like you... Um, you're like, did I put it in there? And you got to look because it's a little pot. I so. always doubt myself. I do too. With everything. Is the coffee maker off? Not with that stuff. But the soap sometimes slip down to the back mm-hmm. the, to where you can't see it. So Did I turn off the speaker? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Are yeah. my headphones plugged in? Yeah, you're you're so bad with that stuff. Phone charging. Every day, you're like, all right, just go back to make sure the coffee maker turned off. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's turned off. You're like, no, 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 no. Just go back and just check. Yeah. Like, so you're going to make me go all the way back to go check And I know it's turned off uh-huh. But it could not be But it's never it's but maybe one, time, one time has happened One time there it could be on And then that's the day It ruins your life Yeah but the coffee maker being on for hours I don't think it's that big of a deal It's not Yeah, But it could be But it's probably But not. it could be <laughs> I'm like coffee makers are made to I don't know if that one has an automatic shut off If it, it hits doesn't. It doesn't It's, it's just, just a little stay cheap on forever yeah, it's just a little cheap maker. Yeah. So, man, we got to get one with the automatic shutoff. Yeah, I think I need to upgrade that coffee machine anyway. 
I mean, it's, it's it's not like you drink that much coffee to where it's that big of an issue. It's spewing everything everywhere now. Is it? Yeah. What did you do? It's just old. I know, but I came in. It's a, cheap I came and old. in the kitchen and I see coffee grounds and what like watery coffee grounds yeah, like drips all down the side of over. it. Boiling over, yeah. You did something. I didn't do it. This seems this is like the hammock is. situation. <laughs> you didn't mess. You didn't mess with, with somebody. Yeah mess with something too much and now it's getting crazy you know we uh when we first moved here i had to find a, a replacement pot for that coffee maker mm -hmm. because we had all of our stuff all packed up just the perfect way mm -hmm. to do it and then i put the coffee pot into the car when we moved from maine mm -hmm. and it shattered right there and i heard it and i was like oh and then we weren't able to bring the coffee. And I was like, well, just leave the, and you're like, no, take the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, wor it was the worst. Yeah. I had it all set up for had you. It all set up. I was like, well, why am I getting him French presses? Like, why don't I just get a pot? Uh -huh. Like a pot's easier. The French press is nice though. It is nice, but like, I feel like you'd I be, prefer it. You'd be wanting more coffee than that though. That French press you got is, they're tiny. Well, you got me a travel mug French press. Right. Right. And uh, as I was working, um, where I was working at the time, it made perfect sense because it, it gives you another load on the bottom of the mug. Mm -hmm. So I could just go inside, heat up some, put some hot water in there and have another cup of coffee. Yeah. So it was convenient then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was convenient. And then I was just like, eh, he needs more coffee than this. Mm-hmm. You a guy, how many cups you like a day? Like a good three, four, what, five? A work day? No, a normal, just, or a work day. A work day? I have one, like, 20-ounce cup. Damn. Yeah. That's not that bad. Though. No, this is, people drink much more than that. Yeah. If, I, if I'm off on a weekend day, I drink a, uh, nearly a pot. Well, I think I, wake I up, think you watch got some it. cartoons. You're not putting sugar in yours, so that's good. When people mm -hmm. put all that sugar, like that, I know people who put a lot, a lot of sugar in their coffee, and mm -hmm. that is uh, bad for you. Yeah, to just be drinking that amount of sugar. Yeah, might as well I, drink soda. My mom and my brother used to always argue about that because they both like sugar in their coffee. Mm -hmm. They both like a lot of sugar. Yeah. So like sometimes like whenever I was staying at my mom's house back and forth. I'm like, damn, we bought a bag of sugar so that we can, like, make desserts. No they thing. didn't already ate it. They didn't we use We didn't it. get the sugar for desserts. I know, but how you going to just use the whole bag <laughs> of sugar that somebody else bought? That's what it's for. For your coffee. Yeah. That's crazy. Why? Because it's like. It's there uh, to be used, Carmen. That's we, what you say. I know, but we thought, we. I'm like, I'm going to get the big bag. Uh -huh. They went through the, y'all drinking too much sugar in that coffee to be going through that sugar that fast. Uh -huh. And then they'll be arguing with each other. She's like, did you use the last of the sugar? He's right. like, no, only had a little bit in that. I'm like, y'all arguing over sugar for coffee? Yeah. They got to have it. It's the worst. It is. That's so, I don't know. But nobody, a lot of people don't want to drink unflavored coffee. Mm -hmm. Just coffee, black coffee with no sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah. Lamos. Yeah. Well, you start getting that uh, sweetened oat milk stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So That's you've like been that. crossing over to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's become a more enjoyable experience. Mm hmm Well, that's interesting. Why? It just is. Because you're a black coffee guy. Yeah. All black coffee. The next thing you know, oh, I'll take a little cream. Yeah, I've I've uh, uh, unhardened myself as a man. Oh, my God. I've I've become soft in my old age. Yeah. Yeah. My mom will tell, tell me, like, don't put no ice in that coffee. Don't waste my coffee and put ice in that. Mm -hmm. It's like, how you gonna tell gonna me how to drink You're gonna ruin the integrity the... of the beans. Yeah. Yes. It, and she got like Folgers or like uh -huh. coffee made or something yeah. stupid. It's like, girl, it's not the best coffee anyway. So uh -huh. who cares if you put some ice in it? Right. <laughs> well, it'll be okay. Yeah. So uh, you want to talk about the relapse you had recently? I did. Uh, so I've been doing so well uh, with uh, hot foods. Mm -hmm. With and spicy, with foods. spicy foods, and and just the uh, anything, and I got off the thumbs, and I was off the thumbs for a good while, mm -hmm. I would say, and then one day I got the I got the heartburns, Carmen, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man, I can't, 
I can't do it. I need the Tums because I'll drink some water, you know. Yeah. They say if you take like a shot of like apple cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. It's supposed it, to help you. It will help. Uh, oh, but, it's so nasty ugh, though. Effort. Ugh. You're supposed to mix it with water, but I would just take a drink of it. Yeah. See, you go. That's extreme. That probably tear your stomach up just drinking apple cider vinegar. And uh, I said, you know what? I could use some Tums. And now I'm back on the Tums. You know. Now you can't live I, without them again. I, I getting Tums here, Tums there. I got the big bottle. I went ahead and got the big bottle. That's how I knew it. Like, uh, man, my life needs to change. Okay, but so, okay, you had stopped doing it, and you had slowed down a little bit on spicy foods. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you're eating more spicy now? I don't know. I feel like so, you're I, just getting back addicted to the tums. If you just like you were fine, I don't know. and then you See, took the one, thing. and then it just went crazy. I'll I'll have my my vegan shake mm-hmm. for lunch. And I'm, I feel like, man, I could use a Tums right now. With the vegan shake? Yeah, I get a little, uh, you know. Oh, my. You just got, <laughs> you got that stuff. You need to go get the antiacid pills from the doctor. Uh-huh. That's all you got to do. You think so? That's my, Is that a thing? My dad said to tell him to go get them. Like, I got them and it saved my life. Uh-huh. And you just, you take them and then it just clears up and then you don't have to take and them. And then you don't have Tums no more? No more, no know. more Tums. T- tums is kind of, like... He's yeah. like, it's a normal thing. People get, like, some people would just have more acid in their body. What is it called? GERD? That's what they call it? Uh-huh. It's called GERD when you have all that acid that constantly keeps coming up. Uh-huh. Yeah, they prescribe stuff for that. You just go to the doctor and get it. I don't know anything about that. Well, you're not going to go for an appointment and get it anyway. Why? Because you're just not. I could. I've been telling you for a while, and you just like. No, I never heard about this GERD before. Gary, guess you have. I've never heard about it. You diagnose everything goes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, heartburn is just heartburn, right? You but know. you have acid. Like, sometimes you'll be sleeping, and I can hear the acid in. <laughs> That's not, you can't you're hear You're literally acid. sitting there like, <laughs> like about to throw it up. And I'm like, hey, you true. need some water? You need some water? Mm-hmm. And you're like, no, I don't need no, none of that water. Yeah, that's not true. Though. It's like, yes, you do, because <laughs> you're like hacking stuff up on a pillow and like, ugh. Hacking things on the pillow? I'm just saying, you can tell that it's about to come out. You're making this sound crazy. <laughs> I ain't hacking nothing okay, on the pillow. You, know, you did one time, but you, <laughs> you can tell that you're struggling with it. Uh-huh. That is bothering you. And sometimes you'll go to sleep and I can hear it. And uh-huh. I'm like, especially after a pizza night or something. Yeah, pizza, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. you need water right now. Yeah. And you're so stubborn. You're like, I don't want none of that water. I get so thirsty after pizza too. Mm-hmm. So it's like a double, you know. Why well, do you think I, that is the salt? I fill myself up with water. Mm-hmm. You got to put that somewhere else. It's, that's on our list Scam calls <laughs> Jesus Christ It's been out of control lately uh-huh. The scam calls are, are Who's calling you? It's scam calls from Texas Yeah And then you answer And I just got a message recently And it's like Hey Susan We're clear to move on With the house application It's like This ain't Susan And then the The text is coming from the same number That's calling me uh-huh. I got on the phone with them And I said Hey This phone Susan doesn't like there's this no is not there's here. no soothing here right. and the first time they hung up on me uh-huh. and then the, the second time they call they'll call four or five times in a row different people i answer i'm like hey there's no soothing here can you take me off the call list mm-hmm. like take me off the call list or i'm just gonna block the number right. which i block the number and then they use another variation that's how you know it's scam calling mm-hmm. and they keep asking for susan and then they send me messages for susan i don't know susan like, how do you get them to stop scam calls? I think it maybe. It do comes... you ever block the number? No, not really. Block the number. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna call from another number if I block. Uh, block it. that one too. Yeah. Jesus Christ! You yeah. gotta go through all that work. Yeah. This guy today was coming through uh, the line, and I took his order at work today. And he said, "Oh my God, I got another scam call." He was like, "I'm about to get a new phone, so it's all about to stop." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "It don't work that way." Yeah, they'll find you. <laughs> It's like as soon as you get on the internet or use any sites, and then I feel like I use all those like other sites with watching TV and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know the how. The illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like I'm a criminal. Uh-huh. Just stealing. Piracy content. is a crime. I guess, but I'm, <laughs> they put it on there for me. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I end up with more scam calls because of 
I don't know. I don't really know where they come from, but mm-hmm. they come from somewhere. Right. I just assume it was internet usage and uh-huh. like different stuff like that. Yeah. So. I don't. I don't get too many. I, I get, get a some, lot. I get some every now and again, but not too many. And then I'll block the number. Mm-hmm. If it says scam likely, I'll just block it. See, I never do that. Right. But I p- picked one up one time, and it was some guy. He knew my name. Mm-hmm. He was like, is this Kirk? And I was like, who's calling? And he was like, uh, we're from some police thing in California, mm-hmm. CHP maybe. And uh, they wanted to know that they had my support on something that was going through. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't live there anymore. He's like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, okay, goodbye. Yeah. Like, you're doing too much. <laughs> you're just forcing people to talk to you. Yeah. Or I get called all the time for the home security systems, mm-hmm. like the life alert stuff. It's like, why are y'all calling me about life alert? Yeah. I had a buddy, uh, uh, my buddy Drew, he, he got a call from this guy, Franklin Hargrove. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said his name was. Mm-hmm. And he had won uh, like a quarter million dollars mm-hmm. and a uh, uh, BMW. Mm-hmm. And Franklin Hargrove needed uh, him to pay the taxes for it before he could award him the, the money. Mm-hmm. So my buddy Drew saved Franklin Hargrove's number, you know. And uh, Franklin Hargrove's like, you know, you got how to many call people the- have he got like that though? That's the <laughs> thing. When they target the older people. They Old get to, the, yeah, because yeah, I know older people, my grandma included, <laughs> that's what? fell for those scams. You feel, you feel so like, like you're like, it, I could. Why couldn't it be me? Yeah. Why couldn't I be the winner? Yeah. Because you know? you're not. <laughs> you're and just not the winner. Franklin Hargrove was like, you need to go to the Western Union, you know, and g- give me $10,000. And he's like, well, I, I'm going to get, why don't you pay me like the $10,000? And he would call Franklin Hargrove back and tell him, so what do I need? What do I, what? And, it, and like, what color BMWs can I get? You know, he, and he just kept calling him back. And his idea, he didn't work or nothing. Uh, his idea was as long as he's talking to Franklin Hargrove, nobody else is talking to Franklin Hargrove. Oh my God. That's so silly. And he's like, so he's not scamming some old lady. He still found a way to scam right. an old lady. I guarantee you <laughs> he got somebody to send that money. And mm-hmm. he probably told different amounts to different people depending on how they sounded when they answered. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, a scam going. Yeah. Uh, somebody was talking about uh, different ways. I saw some interview or a podcast or something, and they were talking about like, different ways they used to like scam certain things and i forget what one of them was but like i think the kid said something about like they would uh sell candy bars like to the old ladies in the neighborhood like we used to do the same thing Mm -hmm. i guess we were kind of scamming too we didn't say Mm -hmm. it was for our church but it wasn't Mm -hmm. we just bought candy bars to sell them selling candy yeah yeah but if you say it's for the church then they like give you extra Mm -hmm. dollars and stuff yeah but they used to like have nothing in the box they would just have like weights or something in a box to have it weighted down or something like that. And mm-hmm. then they had like the other box on top where they would show like, oh, the, you know, these candy bars. Mm-hmm. And, and here's your box. Here's your box. Take yeah. it out their bag. Here's your box. And that it would still be in a plastic. They would have it in a plastic and everything. Mm-hmm. So you a whole box of rocks. Yeah. Or whatever they put in it, papers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you're going to pay like $25. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All you had to do was save all the old candy boxes from the ones that you did. Uh-huh. Did buy, yeah. you know what I mean, right? Or from the kids from school or something. Uh-huh. So it was a little hustle. I'm like, I never thought to like go that far where you just like that's like robbing people. It is. <laughs> like no, it's not like it yeah, is. That's like really bad. Like right. that's a like I can see like making up a little lie. Like oh, it's for my, my team or something. Mm-hmm. You still giving them a product right. and getting money for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's I get it. that's so bad. You bought candy from the kid outside the Kroger. Mm-hmm. It's not basketball season. I feel like he wasn't lying. <laughs> he could have been an AAU team or Pop Warner okay, team. Okay. He had on basketball clothes. Uh, yeah, he, he had, had on the basketball jersey. clothes. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, Carmen, you got scammed. Okay, where he get that candy from? Because that <laughs> he looks got like, it from inside the Kroger. No, and he that came outside Kurt, and he sell it that for looked $2 like more. that looked like the candy that yeah. you get from the from the thing. <laughs> okay, the kids be selling from school. Uh-huh. That looked like the candy you get off the internet. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, that's funny. Uh-huh. I can't help it when I see little kids selling stuff. See? I'm gonna like buy it. That's Carmen for you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Let me see you, a lemonade stand. You I don't those even old like ladies. lemonade. <laughs> you robbed those old ladies, and now you gotta get it. Yeah, but I don't mind it. Uh-huh. If I see a little lemonade stand or something, you know, little kids don't be knowing how to make lemonade. If their parents ain't assisting them and they just out there doing like, sometimes I've gotten some bad lemonade from little lemonade stands. Is that like, true? Jesus Christ! Mm-hmm. Your parents should have helped you with this. Yeah, like where's your parents? <laughs> yeah, like who's who's like manning this? But uh, I yeah, I'll do it every time. Mm-hmm. I see stuff like that. That little girl with the Girl Scout cookies that got us uh-huh. at the craft show. Yeah. She was right in the right spot too. Yeah, so, it wasn't uh, even the cookies you like. What you mean? It wasn't even the cookies you like. No, I was looking at the strawberries. Uh huh. And then she was just—I know, but she didn't even have the cookies you like. Nope. You just bought the ones that she had. Okay, I do like shortbread cookies. Uh huh. I do enjoy shortbread cookies, but I wanted some of the tagalongs. Right. Because I haven't had them in a while. Uh huh. I used to be so against the. I used to only do shortbread cookies. Uh-huh. And the other ones, I used to be like, no, I don't like those kind. And you know, then I had like, a tag along, and I was like, oh, it's like, this is pretty good. The shortbread cookies, they still come in the sleeve. Mm-hmm. That's nice. You get like a box of Samoas, there's mm-hmm. only like 15 cookies in there. Yeah. Because they're in a tray. What are the Samoas? They're the coconut circles with the chocolate and the caramel. Oh, that's gross. The little so- circles. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. I don't like no coconut. What's the peanut butter ones? Uh, Tagalongs. Yeah, those are good. That's the ones I was That's gonna, what you like? That was. I you mean, don't even like peanut butter. I know, but those cookies are pretty good. Ah! They got the cookie in it and then the chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't dislike is, peanut butter. I'm just not a, a huge fan of peanut butter. Uh-huh. I'm not a peanut butter fanatic like you. I'm not a fanatic. Oh, yeah. You'll just like take a spoon and eat it. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, peanut butter's good. Yeah, so I can't that can't do that. Uh-huh. I used to like giving it to my dog though. He'll just be like, yeah, all day, trying to get it off the roof of it. It's so so mean, mm-hmm. but I'm sure it tastes good to him. I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, you're a peanut butter fanatic. I don't do peanut butter like that. I like that. peanut butter. I like peanut butter a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best. That's why I got you those Reese's with the creamy peanut butter inside. Then it Which wasn't are just normal Reese's. Yeah. Yeah. So oh my God, it's so false advertising. Mm. And I saw this lady the other day. At is the it store. though? Because I looked yeah, at that. Yeah, it is. We went through this before, but I looked at it and I said, "That's just going to be a normal Reese's." Okay, but why does it have a different logo than the regular Reese's? Because it, they wanted you to think it was because something it's right else. next to the crunchy peanut butter. But Reese's. why is the regular here and the creamy to here? Show how creamy it is. Boy, they fought. They tried to get me, and then I just was at the store the other day, and I see a lady, and she like, oh, I'll try the creamy one. She think it's that too. You didn't stop her. No, I said she gonna learn just like I had what? to. What <laughs> you're supposed to help these people? <laughs> I was so bad with stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I'll go into a bathroom. Like I went to the bathroom one day at work, and it was a a stall that didn't have toilet paper in it. Mm-hmm. So I went to the next stall. Mm-hmm. And then I'm using the bathroom, about to go out, and I see a lady go in there, and I know it's no toilet paper in there. And you didn't say anything? No. And then I just walked out. Yeah. And then I hear the lady like, there's no toilet paper here. I need toilet paper. And I was just like, I don't want no parts. And you turned off the light as you walked out. I didn't out turn too, off huh? the light. Uh-huh. I just was like, oh, that's not my problem. We're, I hate having bathroom conversations sometimes with people. Mm-hmm. I mean, all the girls do that in the bathroom. So you be like, hey, girl, like talking to each other, uh-huh. having conversations. Right. I don't mind it sometimes. If I'm at a bar and I, I'm drunk or something, mm-hmm. I'll have bathroom conversation with the other ladies. But right. typically, I'm like, if I'm at work, I don't want to speak to you. I just want to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Keep it moving. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. This is different for guys. You guys don't really interact. I mean, how could you? People do. People talk in the bathroom. You're peeing with your thing out, talking to each other. <laughs> That's like a little intrusive. Why? Because y'all holding y'all stuff. Uh-huh. And then talking to each other yeah hey how was the concert dude like ooh, great yeah (laughs) yeah that's exactly yeah yeah that's some some places like you go to churchill downs Mm -hmm. they don't even have like single urinals they got like trots so it's like a group of dudes sitting next to like a 
it's basically like a bathtub. Okay, now explain this yeah. trough. <laughs> Every it's it's like this a like it's like a a whole school like an old it's like a half a bathtub really uh, in the air a little bit and then there's a tube and it's got little like holes in the tube and then there's like a spinny thing the valve and you go and then the water comes and flushes everybody's pee pee away. So all of y'all have valves? No, just the 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 guy closest to the thing yeah oh my okay oh my god that is like traumatizing what so you're just peeing in there and then you walk away what if it's not no guy at the end well if you're by yourself yeah then you can just turn it on yourself if not but, if it's like five of y'all the guy yeah, at the end the is guy responsible. at the end it's his duty it's your duty to that is crazy crank that knob yeah yeah, that's a that's too too much. And then y'all just standing next to each other. Yeah, is yeah. it like placemats for where you're supposed to stand? No, I think you can figure it out. And you just stand there and you just pee in a little thing. Well, it's a big thing. And it's not splashing on nothing. Uh, it don't. You always spl- you, uh, you always get splash on you. Oh my god, that is so fucking. No matter gross. where you go, oh you get god. the splash, Carmen. <laughs> yeah, that splash is, is a, th- a splash is a it's a, a piece of life. Yeah. Yeah. All the guys walking around smelling like pee pee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. All right. So you just told me today. Uh, you mentioned that Sinead O'Connor. How do you say her name? Sinead O'Connor. Sir Sinead O'Connor passed away today. Uh-huh. That's the story. Now, as soon as I looked at my phone, I'm like, oh, I see it everywhere now. Uh-huh. God damn it. You she don't... had a rough go of it. Uh-huh. She had a rough go of it, man. It was always something going on in her life. Uh huh. She was the first lady canceled. She was canceled. Yeah, she got kicked She's off. She's like of one the, of the first ones really canceled, canceled, right? She got that kicked I can off remember. of uh, Everything. Saturday Night Live. Because she burned a picture, I think. Yeah, she, who she burned a picture of? I can't remember. I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah. I can't remember <laughs> if it was uh, the president uh-huh. or if it was some, or if it was a Jewish thing. I know that's Roseanne because <laughs> Roseanne is out of control. Uh-huh. But she was the first one. She did some some type of what, anti-Semitic, anti-Semitism type deal and rubbed everybody the wrong way. And then she was canceled. Uh-huh. And she, did she have one of the like, biggest songs out at the time? They canceled her too, I think. Yeah. That's crazy. She had a rough go of it. She never really got uncanceled after that. It's like they let everybody come back. They don't let her come back. But then they got, who was a, a Louis C.K.? He's back doing shows. Everybody acting like he ain't did what he did, and she uh. still was canceled until she died. Uh huh. That's so rude. You think so? Yeah. Some people like Carlos Mencia. He can't get uncanceled. Some people they just will not uncancel you. You you on the list for good and for ever. good. Yeah. That's it. The rest of the world, you can't make money. They don't want to mess with you. They want nothing to do with it. Well, uh, Louis C.K. He kind of carved out himself out of that canceling right he he only put out his own stuff like Mm -hmm. he made a he made a movie last year Mm -hmm. the fourth of july and it wasn't released in any theaters he just put it on his website right that's it like it's just on his website Mm -hmm. and if you want to watch it you pay him twenty dollars and you can watch it right so he carved out his own little thing where and now I think he's got a new special somewhere. I've been seeing him on uh-huh. bigger people's yeah. platforms. Yeah. So he, where he, he made himself known that he's still going to do his own work. And, then, and that's okay. Right. And then he waited a certain amount of time. Right. But then he also talked about it like, I didn't do that sometimes. It was that big of a deal. Uh-huh. He make it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal. They tried to cancel me for this. That's just like everybody got their fetishes and kinks. That was mine. And right. like. Boy, you nasty. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's a weird one. Yeah. I think uh, Cuba is about to... I think he's in the cancel area right now, too. Cuba Gooding Jr.? Mm-hmm. Because uh-huh. he's too wild. <laughs> <laughs> Every story you hear, he's doing something. Uh-huh. He touched that girl butt, and she was like, hey, don't touch me. He said, all that did was this, and then touched her butt again. Right. I said, he's a wild boy. Yeah. So, that's interesting. Well, that sucks. Rest in peace to Sinead O'Connor. All right, they should have uncanceled her. 
She sort of uncanceled her. And, <laughs> well, there's a documentary about her fairly recently, I think. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe, I don't think it was so much that she was, uh, uh, you know, canceled forever as just a waning career. That could yeah. be it too. Yeah. I mean, well, that did not help her career. Sure. That helped kill it for sure. Uh-huh. So that's interesting. Well, all right. Well, thank you guys for listening to another episode of the Sweet Gravy Podcast. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go to sweetgravypod at gmail.com. You can also check us out on YouTube and every other streaming platform. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.